This one's called Eyes, and I did it in the third grade summer. I'm now in fifth grade. I heard about this contest. I thought the eye, since it, they wanted me to incorporate the eye, I thought this would be a good piece to use. I just got bored in class and we started drawing them, and then people started to say they look cool, and so I was like, oh, maybe just keep doing this. And then my mom was like, hey, why don't you take a photo of it, and we'll enter it in. My design was to have something that, when the light was turned off, it was kind of like an organic part of a broken wall. That's why like inside it's it's all the wires and just very unfinished. My inspiration was uh, mainly the eye and which is the main uh, point of focus for the spectator and this piece correlates into space, into integrating the viewer into a, a new level in between the drawings. It was like two days before the submission was due and I was like, oh, I need to come up with something new. So I came up with this idea of having a light box and having a layer and then having another layer of the eye behind it. And so it's kind of like supposed to be that the piece is like viewing you, but you're also viewing the piece. So it's kind of just like this cycle of the eye, just viewing and viewing. I don't know, it's just kind of an idea. It's kind of fun. So I just graduated from USD um, with visual arts degree. My process was as I just kind of thought about the theme and started sketching, I like to cartoon a lot. And this is just the greediest position I could think of is being in bed eating. He's mostly cardboard, um, cardboard and paper mache. His arms and legs are a pipe insulation, that kind of thing. So um, he's pretty typical of what I make, except usually I do recycled art only. 